Welcome back to the HRD Summit Europe 2019, where I'm joined by Ultimate Software Cecile Alfolaru. Thank you for joining us, Cecile. Thank you so much for having me. So for the people who aren't lucky enough to be here right now, what have you been sharing with audiences? What will you be sharing today? So um, I, I've been talking a lot about AI. One of the things that's so exciting about being here, though, is mm -hmm. um, just talking to people in the, during the breaks, etc. cetera, um, everyone's in learning mode. Um, right, right. People are hungry for mm. the information that's being shared specifically. So um, I've talked a lot about AI. There's so much hype about um, artificial intelligence. Right. There's a lot of concern and um, sort of demystifying it, thinking a little bit about um, some of the, the different kinds of AI that are actually uh, positive force disruptors for HR professionals. I, and I think that's really um, what this show is all about. Of course. So there's a there's a tender balance there, isn't there? Finding that right kind of sweet spot, I think yeah. is what Eric said, between tech and the human side. How do you think an organization or a business leader can go about finding that so spot? I, I, I think the most important thing to do is always keep people first in mind. That's right. That's got to be sure. what you do. So, so often we think about technology, we think about transactions, we think about, you know, how do we become more efficient? Mm -hmm. That's all good. Everyone wants to be more efficient. Right. Um, but we can't forget what that means and the impact that has on people every day. Of so course. if we focus too much on the tech and don't think about how will this have an impact on individuals, mm -hmm. um, and it's true, you can't ask every single person, sure. how will this impact you? <laughs> uh, but the idea right. is to be able to even use technology to be able to help you understand the kinds of impacts that you're having of course. in the moment so that you can switch on a dime. Things are changing so quickly that if you don't have the ability to be nimble, um, mm. and if you're not using technology to help you be nimble, then you're missing an opportunity. Of actually. course. So w where's that starting point then? Is it a cultural thing? Is it a point of do we need to tell leaders to do something differently? Where do you think that, that starting point is? So I think it's, it's, um, it's sort of a multi-channel approach. I think we have uh -huh. to be talking, uh, first of all, you have to have a culture that's open enough um, where there's a curiosity and a willingness mm -hmm. to explore and even to be willing to fail. Um, people don't like talking about it, but sort of failing, failing fast right. um, and being able to, again, sort of shift directions. Mm -hmm. um, from a leadership perspective, I think that we've had leaders that are far too focused on, um, on their results and the operational side of things. Mm -hmm. um, and today, the expectation that every employee has is, I need a coach. I don't just need a manager. In fact, I don't want to be managed. Right. I want to be coached and I want to know how I can contribute. Um, and that means organizations have to be looking for that contribution. I think one of the greatest promises of artificial intelligence mm. is that it allows people to, in two ways, um, to both augment who they are, what they do, their actual capabilities, and it also helps amplify. It helps them scale better. Of course. Um, so you can be in a hundred places or a thousand places at once, which wasn't possible ten years ago. Of course. If you could give one tip, you think, to to a business leader who's trying to find that spot between tech and human and trying to work that out in their organization, what do you think a one tip would be to get started? So the one tip would be to listen to the voice of your employees. Make sure right. that they're involved in any tech um, investment and operational sort of focus that you're going to be that you're going to be looking at, Wonderful. because otherwise it will fall. It will Fantastic. fail, and, and that's not the kind of <laughs> failure that you want overall. But it's a really exciting time. Fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us, thank Cecile. You very much. I, I'm really looking forward to everything you're going to say over the next uh, few days. But thank you for joining us, guys, and stay tuned for more.